Hello again, friends. Christmas is the birthday of Jesus. Jesus came to earth and was born as a baby in Bethlehem for us. From the beginning of time, God had a marvelous plan for each of our lives where we would be useful, be a blessing to God, to one another, to wildlife, to the earth. Everywhere we went, we would leave a blessing. That was always God's agenda for our lives, and actually that is still God's agenda. That's why Jesus came, to make a way for us to have our relationship with God brought to life so we could, in fact, do what God originally intended for us. I love how the prophet Isaiah tells us about that. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom to the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. Oh, great saving and healing and strengthening for all of us is promised by God for each one of us. But I love the next bit that shows the purpose of it all. They, that's the healed and restored ones, will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Those who are rescued by God become those who rebuild and renew things ruined for generations. I want to enter into that kind of healing, strengthening ministry today, don't you? Lord Jesus, please pour out your spirit on us again today. We want to be those who bring good news to the poor. Heal us and make us strong to carry a message of comfort and healing for the brokenhearted, those who mourn and grieve. Help us to figure out how to come alongside those who suffer and mourn, maybe who are even in despair these days. We trust you when you promise that as your spirit is poured out on people, that they will become strong like mighty oaks planted by you. Not only do you bless us, so we are blessed and strong, but you give us all we need so we can help others rebuild and see their own lives and circumstances renewed. So we end as we began. Be poured out again on us, Holy Spirit. Anoint us. Send us out to minister healing, encouragement, and freedom. Amen. Let's have a wonderful day doing the wonderful work God has prepared and equipped for us today.